Hello YouTube. So in this video we will be covering, well, practice for lecture three, so that's the integrating factor. But before we get to the practice problems, I'll be covering a, a case of integrating factor that, well, it doesn't look like you can use the integrating factor on this one, but you kind of can. And it's known as the Bernoulli's differential equation, and it's kind of important, so I highly recommend that you watch. Uh, the first part at least. You, I think the second part's optional. Okay, so you get y prime plus p of x times y, very much like the first order linear differential equation that we had in integrating factors. However, this time we have q of x times y to the n. So not just q of x, but we also have this y to the n term. And this n is any real number that's not zero or one. I don't know why I wrote diagonally, doesn't matter. Okay, so for example, you could say y prime plus e to the x equals, or sorry, e to the x y times sine of x times y to the eighth power. That's a Bernoulli's differential equation. y prime plus 2x y equals, I don't know, 8x to the x power times y to the 1,000 power, or y prime plus 3xy equals 8 times y to the negative 8th power. All these are Bernoulli's differential equations. We have our p of x and our q of x and then y to the n. Okay, so you get the idea now what a Bernoulli's differential equation is. So now let's get to the more fun part, which is solving it. So very much like the integrating factor formula, or sorry, very much like the integrating factor. There's another formula you have to memorize, although it's very similar. And you know, I'm not gonna go over the derivation because that would be even more hellish than integrating factor. So I'll just give you guys the formula. So first of all, we already know our p of x and q of x. So this time we have another integrating factor, u of x, but this time it's equal to e to the p, e to the integral of one minus n times p of x dx. Okay, and then here, our solution will be y of x equal, or no, y to the one minus n of x power equals one over u of x times the integral of one minus n u of x q of x dx. Yeah, very fun to memorize. So let's cover an example. I'll just cover one example, and then I'll just get to um, I'll just get to doing the more simple problems of integrating factor. So, okay, so how do we tackle this? <laughs> we got a very annoying thing. So I'll just say we have y prime plus eight x y, or yeah, eight x y equals I don't know. Just say x times y to the 100th power. Okay, <laughs> well, we have our p of x ready, right? We always wanna write our p's, our q's, and our u's. So p is 8x, q of x is x. So our u of x is e to the integral of one minus n times p of x dx. So that's going to be, well, we know n is 100 up here. So that would be e to the negative 99 times p of x, so 8x dx. So what is negative 99 times 8x? Eh, I'll figure that out later. I'm kind of lazy, too lazy to comp compute that now. So I'll just say negative 99 times 4x squared up here. Yeah, I don't have brain cells. I'm recording this kind of late, so I don't have the brain cells to run that calculation. I think this is negative 396, but I don't... Sure, I'll just write down 396. 96x squared. Okay. Um, is it? Yeah, okay. So... Now we can plug this into the formula. So y to the negative 99 of x power equals one over e to the negative 
negative 396 x squared power integral e to the negative 396 x. Oh, first of all, we need to make sure that we have our negative nine, our one minus n term here. So negative 99 times u of x. So e to the whatever times q of x. So x dx. So, okay, let me just make extra room down here. I'm gonna be going from left to right, I'm sorry. Okay, so, um, okay, let me just write this out here first. So, y to the negative 99 of x. Uh, well, why did I put that up there? What the, y to the negative 99 power of x equals e to the 396 x squared power times, okay, we have a, a complicated u sub where we could set, we have u equals 396 x squared. So then du would be negative 792 x dx. So that's like eight. Um, we have one eighth here. So that's one eighth times the integral of e to the u. So that's e to the u. And then we can substitute in negative 396 x squared plus e. Okay, so let me just break. So we have y negative nine equals, uh, that's just one eighth plus c e to the 396 x squared power. So then now we could just, well, raise everything to the negative one over 99th power. So y negative 99 to the negative one over 99th power equals the right side times the same, with the same operation. So then our solution would be y equals one eighth, oops, oops, y equals one eighth plus c e to the 396 x squared negative one over 99. Um, you can try to verify that. Um, I'm not gonna bother because I'm, I'm lazy and this is hella complicated to verify, but if you want to feel free and we'll move on to the, pra the easier practice problems. You get, I, I, I'm sure you get how to do the Bernoulli's now. Just a complicated formula to memorize, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. Okay, so now let's just cover, I don't know, another practice problem. Y prime plus hmm, e to the x, no, that would be too complicated. Nah, yeah, I'll do e to the x y equals e to the x. Sure, why not? Okay, so let's try that. So we have, we can, we already identified our p of x is going to be e to the x. Q of x is going to be e to the x as well. So then our integrating factor is u of x equals e to the integral of e to the e of x dx because it in because that's just e to the integral p of x dx power so wait why did i do that why did i put that there it's e to the x here okay that's better so then we now have e to the e to the x power okay yeah that's better i don't know why i keep writing things wrong so then now we have we could plug this right into our formula so we have y of x equals one over u of x times the integral of u of x, q of x, dx. So our u of x we already got one over, I'll just put it in this form, e to the negative e to the x power form, integral e to the e to the x power times q of x, e to the x power dx, where we could do a u substitution. So we already know that, or we could just bring this to the top first of all. So y equals e to the negative e to the x, integral e to the x e to the e to the x times e to the x dx um 
So then we could do a U sub. I mean, I don't want to do a U sub, but for learning purposes, I guess I'll do a U sub. So we could say that um, y equals e to the e to the negative e to the x power times integral of e to the u power because e to the x is our new u sub. So e to the u. Um, and then our du is going to just be e to the x times dx. So we have this. So then this is equal to e to the negative e to the x times e to the u. But remember that we could do our, oh wait, sorry, plus e. Then we could do our, we could substitute e to the x right back into u. So we get e to the negative e to the x, e to the e to the x plus e. So our solution will end up just being 1 plus c e to the negative e to the x. Because the thing is, these cancel out because they're opposite powers. Okay, that's enough for today. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next lecture, probably.